Good morning. Here for the masks. All right, so they're five per person. So okay. we got little stacks of five here. The Hoffman Heights Library in Aurora is usually quiet on weekends. Here's five. Thanks, darling. No problem. But Saturday, it was used for something different. You're not charging anything for them? Mm -mm. No, the state gave them to us, so it's oh, a yeah. free handout. Everyone else ran out already. Yeah, yeah. it's been been a crazy morning for the other locations. The Aurora Central Library started handing out 1200 masks at 10 o'clock. By 1030, they ran out. That is crazy. Yeah, <laughs> that is crazy to believe 30 minutes. Yeah, so there's a big rush to find the highly suggested mask, but there's also a lot of confusion. So first, let's start with the KN95 mask made in China and currently being handed out by the state. The middle here to so it can bridge and shape to your nose really well. So that helps keep you know other people's air on, keeps your own in. Um, they've got the ear loops a bit less stretchy than some of the other ones, but again, that's you know supposed to make it more secure. These masks are all about the numbers. This one is real. This one is fake. Then there's the American made N95 mask. One doctor suggests you buy from a hardware store to avoid counterfeit. It's approved by INOSH, which is our occupational safety um, government agency. And they'll say INOSH and 95. They won't say FDA. If they say FDA or CDC, that's a good side. It's probably, you know, a counterfeit. And it'll have um, a TC number on it, which will tell you that when it was approved, et cetera. This is a Korean made KF94, not as popular, and there's not much to look for. But with all three masks, this is the big takeaway. If you put the mask on and it doesn't feel like it's tight to your face and you feel air leaking around it, that's a good um, reason to be concerned because these masks are designed to be tight fitting. If you're wondering, the numbers 94 and 95 don't really mean much. That's just the level of protection the mask provides. For 9 News, I'm Darius Johnson.